What is the difference between before triggered and after triggered flow? The before triggered flow is triggered before the changes made by the user are saved in the Salesforce database. For example, whenever an account object record is updated, the user needs to validate and throw an error if a specific field is blank. The after triggered flow is triggered after the changes made by the user are saved in the Salesforce database. For example, send a welcome email to the contact of the newly converted lead. Which flow elements support bulkification in Salesforce flows? Flows have the capability to bulkify any element that carries out a DML statement, SOQL query or perform external actions such as sending emails. For example, updating all the related contact records of an account in Salesforce. What are platform events in Salesforce flow? Platform events are a component of event-driven architecture that enables communication between applications, whether they are within or outside of Salesforce. They utilize a publish-subscribe system and collaborate with a message bus to handle incoming events. Which flow type should be used to meet the following business requirement? All the opportunity, object records where the stage is equal to closed lost, should be deleted at the end of each month. Schedule triggered flow. What are the building blocks of Salesforce flow? Elements Each element in Flow Builder is like a set of instructions that tells the flow what to do. It is important to note that every element is not available with each flow type. For example, the pause element is available only while creating an auto-launched or record-triggered flow. Different types of elements. Interaction. Data logic. Connectors act like guides for the flow, determining which step comes next. There are various types of connectors some making the flow take different routes in specific situations. Resources are like containers you use in your flow. Each resource can hold different things like a formula, a block of text, a whole record with all its data, or even a bunch of records. Using which flow element user can make sure a default value is assigned to a field whenever a new record is created. Assignment element. What is the maximum number of elements that can be added to a single flow in Salesforce? In a PI version, 56.0 and earlier, flows were restricted to a maximum of 2,000 flow elements. With the introduction of API version 57 for Salesforce flows, the restriction of 2,000 flow elements has been eliminated. What is subflow in Salesforce? When you want to launch another flow from the existing flow, the subflow element is used. By dividing your flows into logical units, you can reuse them as subflow whenever the same logic needs to be executed. Explain the concept of fault connectors in Salesforce flow. In Salesforce flows, a fault connector is a valuable tool for handling errors and exceptions that may occur during the flow's execution. What is the collection filter element in Salesforce flow? When you have a collection of records and need to create a new collection that includes only specific records from the original based on certain criteria, you can make use of the collection filter. 